Kirby and the Forgotten Land is seriously one of my favorite games on Nintendo Switch, and I've been telling a lot of people this. Luigi's Mansion 3 and Kirby and the Forgotten Land I still think are underrated. Like, seriously, I know a lot of people love these games, and even, like, Luigi's Mansion 3 is selling, like, hotcakes for a Luigi's Mansion game, really for any game on Nintendo Switch, but still, I feel like they're so underrated because they're not talked about amongst some of the greats, like Super Mario Odyssey and even Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. These games may not be as massively big and open world or even open zone as those games are, but they're still so super special, and they offer some extremely fun gameplay and fun replayability. But today, we're focusing on Kirby, and I know we've been talking about a while what Kirby's next game is going to be, with some rumors popping up suggesting that the next game is going to be a 2D Kirby game. Personally, I am ready to talk about the next 3D game. I know the next 2D Kirby game is still going to be probably lots of fun, and I know 2D Kirby is not completely dead just because they went to 3D and it was massively successful, but that's exactly why I want to talk about 3D right now because it was massively successful. Now, I talked about this a couple times already. For instance, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video talking about what I believe the next 3D Kirby game is going to do on Switch 2. But instead of actually just thinking about the next 3D Kirby game, I wanted to dive a little bit more deeper and be more specific. For instance, what about a Forgotten Land sequel? Now, it's not too often we see sequels from Kirby games. In fact, most of the time if we get sequels, it's some of the spinoffs because the only mainline games we've ever got sequels to were the Dreamland games with Kirby's Dreamland 1, 2, and 3. So the odds of Nintendo giving us a sequel to a game that came out on this current Switch and this next game possibly coming out on the next Nintendo Switch, or most likely coming out on the next Nintendo Switch, how likely is it going to be a sequel of Forgotten Land? Well, I'm not necessarily saying that this next game is going to be the Forgotten Land 2. As much as I would love that, I think there's a really good possibility that this game is the Planet Robobot to the Triple Deluxe. Now what do I mean by this? Well, Planet Robobot was by no means a direct sequel to Triple Deluxe. In fact, the story is vastly different, where Triple Deluxe is based more on nature and vines and in the clouds and floating islands, where Planet Robobot is about an alien invasion and roboticizing the entire world of Dreamland. So yeah, it's two completely different stories, but still, they are very similar games that run on the same engine and have the same mechanics just with new copy abilities. So yes, I really do think that we could be seeing what I would say the sequel to Forgotten Land on Nintendo Switch 2 that just isn't called The Forgotten Land. So honestly, this actually isn't where I'm at with Mario, where with Mario, I kind of want to see something bigger and more ambitious, which I think is what we're going to be getting. You know, after Bowser's Fury, I really do feel like we're going to be getting our first kind of open world Mario game, and I'm super excited for that. But even then, Mario has already gotten bigger because it has open sandbox Mario games with things like 64, Sunshine, and even Odyssey, and more linear 3D games with Galaxy and even Mario 3D World. But Kirby, this is his first time ever jumping into the 3D space, and right off the bat, that went with a more linear approach, which still worked out really, really well. In fact, I like Kirby and the Forgotten Land more than Mario 3D World. I felt like the worlds were more ambitious, there were more things to do in each world, things to collect, and easter eggs and secrets to find all around every single corner. I mean, seriously, I went through each level probably around four or five times, finding something new almost every single time. The formula that they have created for Forgotten Land is great, and I kind of want them to keep building off of it and just pretty much make another one. I honestly don't have some super high expectations for the next 3D Kirby game just because of how great their debut game was. Honestly, just give me more. And I'm trying to figure out how that would actually work. And like I said, I don't think it's going to be a Forgotten Land 2 because there's not much more they need to do with this specific story. It isn't like Galaxy where it was just kind of based on Mario in space. So you can't really just have another Forgotten Land in that same Forgotten Land. We've already visited that land and all of its worlds and all of its characters. There's not much left to it. And in fact, Kirby and the Forgotten Land kind of touched on every type of biome that we could probably ask for. With a grassland that was built on an old city, an amusement park in ruins, I mean, come on. A snow area, a desert area, a lava area. There really wasn't anything left uncovered, even an ocean area. So I think Nintendo just jumping back into Forgotten Land's world wouldn't make sense. Yes, I'm sure there's even more parts of the world that we could explore in other regions, but I'd rather just have a completely different game and experience that's kind of built on the same engine as Forgotten Land. So when I think about what the game could actually be about, I actually kind of like that old civilization and ruins theme. And I know the Forgotten Land is kind of all about that, but 
Maybe even a little bit more so would have been interesting. And even when I go there, it's stuff that Forgotten Land has already done. For instance, I love the factory feeling in the cold, desolate wasteland of Shiverstar, with the theory suggesting that's Earth after a massive apocalypse. Um, and some people even think there could be some connections to this place in the Forgotten Land. I think it's really interesting how you have like stages based on the abandoned malls and factories, and yeah, we kind of gotten that in Forgotten Land. So it's interesting that maybe the whole game was already based off of this world, but I kind of wanted to see maybe even more of it. So what the heck do they do for a sequel, or at least another game in the same kind of art style and obviously the same engine? Well, maybe they just go back to Dreamland. Now, honestly, when I thought Kirby was going to jump into a 3D space, I thought for sure that the first time he would do it would just be a very basic overworld of Dreamland. And it's just something that we've never really seen in a 3D space outside of like Kirby Air Ride. So it was something that I was actually really looking forward to, to seeing Kirby's home in a brand new light. Maybe being able to explore fully around King Dedede's castle and everything. And I thought that sounded like a really good idea. Of course, HAL Labs went above and beyond and gave us an entire new world to explore. but. I can't help but think what would have actually happened if we just went to Dreamland. I think Planet Popstar has a lot of unique locations that they could do even more with, but even when I think of those locations, it's still the snow, the water, the lava, the desert, areas that we've already seen in Forgotten Land. But of course, in every single game ever, you're gonna have those areas. It's just changing those areas which makes them different. For instance, Forgotten Land's water world was heavily based on beachy islands, where maybe in the next game it could be based on underwater exploration and main ocean exploration. Natural Plains was based on a city overcome by nature, so maybe in the next game we can just have a grassland or giant forest themed area. Winter Horns was a snow themed old desolate city covered in ruins, which once again was very similar to the beginning of the game with the original ruins of the city, but once again maybe in the next game we could have more of a proper snow area, with snow caves and a giant snow mountain that we had to get to the top of. Now I know a lot of people might say this is just taking some original areas and dumbing them down to basic snow, lava, and water again, and yeah I can't help but agree. Forgotten Land just really set a precedent for what Kirby could do next, and they really Really didn't hold back, so I am very curious to see what they end up doing, and hopefully it's a big theme that affects every location as well, even though that's normally what Kirby games do. Honestly, I kind of hope somehow in the future we revisit something very similar to Planet Robobot, where everything was kind of futuristic. I love that idea, and even giving Kirby his own Robobot armor was pretty daggone cool, and having an alien invasion is a really awesome concept. In fact, the main antagonist of Forgotten Land is an alien that invaded this world a long time ago. So I love the whole alien prospect, and let's face it, pretty much every single main villain from Kirby is some type of creepy, deranged alien monster from space. So it it would work either way. I would love to revisit, like, just Planet Robobot in 3D would be phenomenal. So maybe there's another way we could get Dreamland and just covered in robotic stuff and futuristic metal all over again, I think would be an awesome 3D game. But it goes back to just Planet Popstar. You know, if we do go back to Planet Popstar, I feel like Kirby's gonna have to do something bigger than just another Forgotten Land. And that's when I start talking about something like an open sandbox game. Something along the lines of 64 Sunshine and Odyssey, actually allowing Kirby to move the camera and move around freely in a 3D environment and little hub world type areas that he can explore and find hidden secrets and stuff, which I think works perfectly for Kirby because Forgotten Land was full of stuff like this. Tons of HAL Lab Easter eggs and little secrets and details that we just kept uncovering months after the game came out. And I feel like that's something perfect to have in a sandbox game. But shoot, who knows? Maybe those surprises and just say, hey, full open world pop star and we can ride around on Kirby's warp star in all the different areas and complete missions and objectives Nah, that, that just sounds too good to be true. That We're probably a very long ways away until that. But yeah, I would not say no to at least an open sandbox Kirby game. But we're just going to wait and see what HAL Labs does next. Whatever they do, it's going to be great because they've been absolutely killing it. And man, do I love what Forgotten Land did for the series. But let me know in the comments down below what you want to see from the next 3D Kirby game. Do you think we'll be getting a straight up Forgotten Land 2? Do you think it'll be like a spiritual successor, something like Triple Deluxe to Planet Robobot? Or do you think it's going to be something new entirely, something that's more sandbox based or maybe even open world let me know in the comments down below what you want to see from the next 3d kirby and thank you guys so much for tuning in but stop for a second if you enjoyed today's video stop what you're doing leave a like and subscribe it really goes a long way and i appreciate you guys so much so let's see how many of you we can get to subscribe from this one video alone but thank you for tuning in and like always i'll see you all on the next one see you guys